So I was diagnosed uh, the beginning of my freshman year in 2017. I had freshman year of college. Freshman year of college, yes. Um, but I've I've had symptoms starting freshman year of high school. So I had pretty severe symptoms for four years, and they were they would get worse and worse. And then finally, when I went off to college, they got to the point where I went to the hospital and. Um, they originally diagnosed me with Crohn's, and then after the colonoscopy, they changed it to ulcerative colitis. I actually played baseball my freshman year at William Peace University in North Carolina. So that fall semester, towards the end, when I was starting to feel bad, I was bloody movements every time. I would be going to the bathroom like 20 times a day, and I was we were weightlifting heavy, like waking up at 5 a.m and then going to school and then practice. And I was going to the bathroom about 20 times a day. It was very taxing. I started to experience some severe pain. Yeah. Something I've never experienced before. Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh damn, this is, this is different. Um, okay. So I went back to the doctor and I started telling him about my pain. And then he started telling, oh, well maybe we just need to remove something. And then my head started spinning. Like that—that that doesn't go go back. How much weight did you lose from baseball? Yeah, I, um, I lost about. Um, uh, I lost around forty pounds. I knew that it was time to focus on my health. Um, yeah. so I decided to transfer and not be a student athlete anymore. And it was hard, obviously. It was hard to go back home. Um, and like see my high school friends and family friends and they look at you a little different because you're 40 pounds lighter. Yeah. And I, you're just not, you, fe you feel like you're not the same person because you're scared to do stuff because you're scared to eat. You're scared to um, drink alcohol. You're scared to do stuff that you used to do with your friends, like going to McDonald's and drinking and fishing. Mm -hmm. um, that was what we did. That's how we lived. Um, so it was hard to do to go back home and not be who you were when you left. So going to the shield program, I had bloody stools. I was going to the bathroom double digits times a day. Mm -hmm. I had pain, severe pain. I, a week before starting the shield program, I slept on the bathroom floor and the pain wouldn't go away. It was like something I never experienced before. Mm -hmm. Just laying on the ground, just defeated. Yeah. My energy was low. My weight was way down. And how many was, how many pounds? Forty pounds underweight. Yeah, forty pounds. And then, how quickly, in, when you were in the shield program, how quickly did you see results? And what kind of results yeah. did you see? I saw results within the first two weeks, if not in the first week. I started to the pain was the first thing to go away, which I was most thankful about because mm -hmm. that was the most severe. Um, and then my, I started getting my energy back. I started sleeping better. Mm -hmm. I started eating better. I started to gain weight. I was gaining, I was gaining a lot of weight fast at the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. And that was very motivating because that's something, I didn't weigh myself for about two years because I was so defeated on the number. Um, I remember you asked me how much I weighed our first session. I was like, I don't know. I, <laughs> I have no idea. So that was awesome. And then I started to, um, and then I had the blood left, which I was dealing with for about five years previously. So that was the lasting symptom that we really had to tackle. Yeah. And after a few months, we finally got it gone and it's been gone for a while now. It was a blessing in disguise. And yeah. that is, once you see that, like looking back, I would not have been, I would not have gone to University of South Carolina. I would yeah. have been a part of the, the football team. I wouldn't have met you. Yeah. I wouldn't have um, had the aspiration to help people. I, I, I wanted to be like a physical therapist or help people gain muscle, gain weight, um, you know, make a living. But now it's like, I have a passion. So I wanna help people with Crohn's and colitis um, and help them find remission. There you Definitely. go. So you want to be you want to be a practitioner and a healer. Yes. So I'll be going to. I've been enrolled in the Doctor of Chiropractic program at National University. 
All so right. I'm super excited to start with that. How many bad moves today are you having right now? One to two. One to two. And are you having any blood? No blood. No. Can you can you eat a broad diet and eat at a restaurant if you so yeah. choose? You can yeah. eat out. Okay. Do you have um, Do you have great energy? Yes, great energy. So much energy. <laughs> are you sleeping through There's the night? Too much energy. <laughs> you I'm sleeping, sleeping good. good. Yes. Yeah. How much weight have you gained since you started the program? I've gained about 15 pounds. 15. And Okay. And it's gonna, it's gonna bump up because I'm on vacation right now, and then when I get back, I'm gonna start weight training again, and I'm so excited just to get back from vacation. You're having normal formation, no urgency. Yeah. No. So, and are you on any medications? No, no medications. Medication free. Yeah. So medication free completely changed your life and got all your symptoms good, and you can travel, you can do things, you can eat a broad diet. Now, here's the icing on the cake that I want everyone listening to this testimony who's like, this is impossible, there's no way. Here's yeah, the icing on the cake. You then, what happened to two or three weeks ago? You got diagnosed with, or you got, you caught what? Coronavirus, yes. You got coronavirus yeah, I did. three yeah. weeks ago. So after all that, yeah. and all that pain, all that issues, all that suffering, then you get coronavirus, and you and some of your family got it, and your girlfriend got it, yeah. and what was that experience like? Now you got this worry of corona, what happened with that? Yeah, so I became symptom free, drug free, um, and I was feeling good, and then, my mom and girlfriend got sick, and it was COVID, and I was like, oh gosh. <laughs> I wasn't even worried about COVID, I was worried about my UC. Yep. And that was what was stressing me out. And then I got coronavirus, and yep. my shield was strong, and I got coronavirus, and I recovered, and I stayed symptom free, and I continued being symptom free. I went out last night with my family to a seafood restaurant, and it was all good and I'm at, at the beach on vacation and it's just, it's, it's awesome, yeah. Anyone out there who's college, a, a young man, a young woman, or even a 13 year old or a mom who's watching this saying, I need my child to do this and I want my child to do this or a guy who's saying, man, I've been dealing with this for 10 years, how can I do what Thomas did? What would you, what would you say to that person out there right now? What, what advice I mean, would you give them? I would say that it's never too early and it's never too late. Uh, looking back, I wish I would have done something like this in high school when my symptoms were just starting out my freshman year. But then also, I started at a point where I was defeated, and I thought that it wouldn't work for me because I've it's, I've had blood for so many years, and it's it's not it's not one or the other. It's it can help anyone. Um, you just gotta help. You gotta let your body work the way God designed it to do, and Amen. Is very intelligent. So.